Hi, I'm Chandrasekhar from Nuaj Networks, and in this video, we will provide you with an overview on Nuaj Networks SD WAN 2.0 platform and its ability to host third party VNF such as X4 Virtual Verifier. The Nuage Networks platform is the industry's first and only next-gen SD-WAN platform, enabling the connectivity between business users to business applications anywhere at n mass scale. It provides seamless connectivity between those users and their application in public cloud, private cloud, or SaaS. The Nuage Networks solution is also called the Virtualized Services Platform. It's a cloud-native application that consists of a management plane in the form of VSD, the control plane in the form of BSC, and the data plane is represented by an x86 physical CPE device called the Network Service Gateway or a virtual CPE that can run on any third-party CPE. We also provide a wide range of value-added services that are a mix between embedded futures as well as third-party VNFs that are either hosted or service chained. The Nuage platform employs a flexible and open BNF support framework. This framework allows us to support BNFs and CNFs on our universal CPA device without requiring any proprietary hardware or complex custom integrations. The management and control plane allows for a variety of features and support of that framework like BNF onboarding, the ability to build a catalog of VNFs, lightweight lifecycle management of these VNFs, including service chaining of these VNFs into a specific traffic flows. The RESTful northbound API enables customers and partners to build easy integration that leverage all of these capabilities and features of the platform. This architecture provides many benefits to our customers. For example, agility by offering on-demand services anywhere in the network. Openness and avoiding vendor lock-in with a wide range of partners that offer VNFs. There are also aspects of security and scalability that cannot be overlooked. There are three basic steps of running a VNF in the platform. The definition step, where it define the characteristics of the virtual network function. The design, that is, how to deploy that VNF in the network and attach it. And the final is deploy, which is picking the target UCPE device and managing the day-to-day -day operation of that VNF. Now let's take a look at the deployment of X4 VNF. In the defined phase, we create a descriptor for that VNF. In the design phase, we decide how we want to deploy it and in the deploy phase, we push the VNF file onto a particular site before finally inserting it into the data path of the particular application flow. A typical large enterprise deployment includes virtual verifier on a UCPE device and X4 Vox dashboard, which is deployed locally. The first step, as mentioned earlier, is deploying a virtual verifier onto a particular UCPE device. Once deployed, it will be managed by X4 Vox dashboard, which can be accessed locally. The next step is test VNF configuration and demo. Once we have the VNFs, which is called virtual verifier deployed on the UCPE device, we use X4 Vox dashboard to create on-demand tests. Once we have created these on-demand tests, we run two different types of tests. The first one is checking the connectivity of the VNF to a public service running on the internet and the other is checking inter-VNF communication. We will see a demo on how we run these different functional tests. Let's log into the BSD. Now we have to create VNF descriptors and the VNF metadata. For that, Let's go to platform configuration from the right top corner, select applications and click on VNF. Let's create the VNF metadata. Click on the plus icon, enter a name. The content of the blob can be found in the guide. 
click on create click ok now you have the VNF metadata so let's create the VNF descriptor click on the plus icon give the descriptor a name the VNF type here is firewall let us enter all the required details like the memory, storage and CPU count. Select the metadata that you just created. For threshold policy, use default. Once we create the descriptor, we have to add three interfaces for this descriptor. Enter management and select the type management. Repeat this for LAN and WAN. This completes the VNF descriptor creation. Now let's go back to the enterprise view. One important step here is to go under networks and see that we have L3 management domain to carry the management traffic. Now let's go ahead and create the VNF instances. From application, go to VNF, click on the plus icon, give the VNS instance a name, select the descriptor that you just created and select the target UCP device where you want to deploy the VNF. Once you have created this, another important step is to connect the management interface to the corresponding VNF management domain. The next step is to go under networks, select the customer L3 domain and create a VNF domain mapping. Select the target UCP device where you want to deploy the VNF and click create. This VNF domain mapping allows the system to create the required vports and subnets to insert the VNF into the data path. Once this is done, the next step is to deploy the VNF. Click applications, go to VNF, click on the VNF and now click on the DNA icon as shown. Under Actions, select Deploy and click on Invoke. It takes a few seconds for the VNF to change its state from init to shut off. Once the state changes to shut off, we can go ahead and start the VNF. We can see that the state of VNF has changed to shut off. Now under Action, click Start and click on invoke and the VNF should be up in any second. Now let's go ahead and create some on-demand tests from x 4 vox dashboard. Log in to x 4 vox On the left hand side select verifiers. Here you can see that the VNF that you just created is present. The last check-in time indicates that this VNF is talking to XOVox dashboard. Now let's go ahead and create some on-demand tests. Select run on-demand test under on-demand testing. Now you can see a list of tests that are present here. We are going to run HTTP active test. Select headquarters as the source virtual verifier. Give it a test tag. Under the URL enter github.com. Click on add. We can leave rest of the parameters as it is and click on run. You will be directed to a new page where you will see all the result and the progress for your test. It takes a few seconds to get the output. Let's wait. Once you get the output, you should be able to download the output in CSV file format. Now let's go ahead and run the next test. Close this tab. 
Under the list of tests, select Ping Active Test. This test runs between two different VNFs. The source is still headquarters. Give it a tag. Now select the new VNF that you just deployed and click on Add. Leave rest of the parameters as it is and click Run. Again, you will be redirected to a new page where you will see all the progress of your result. It takes a few more seconds to get the output. And again, once the output is done, you can download the output in CSV file format. This concludes the demonstration. For more information, visit www.nuajnetworks.net. Thank you.